What is going on, my friends? Andrew Sudoku back with the legendary Right Stuff unboxing. As you guys know from clicking on the video, I'm going to be opening a, a literal pile of Right Stuff manga. Stuff that I got from their amazing 2017 holiday sale, okay? So, I'm, I'm, it, it's going to be a while. I'm just forewarning you guys now. I got a big thing of apple juice because I'm going to be sitting in this chair for a minute. Got a lot to open. Not only am I going to open all this right stuff manga, there is tons and tons, I have like seven or eight boxes full of Barnes & Noble manga mania stuff, that's over there. I'm going to be opening it up like this, like so, where's my knife? So, so I got I to gotta open up all this right stuff, loot, I'm going to be stashing them here on the bookshelf, Evie's here helping me out as uh, he he does when I when I get a, a large chunk of stuff. Um, you guys, if you haven't yet, uh, I, I wanted to, if, if you don't know, for those who don't know, I wanted to make reference to the fact that I have, I, I'm actually proud to, to let you all know that I'm a Right Stuff affiliate. This means that uh, the channel is capable of earning money through other people's purchases at rightstuff.com. Uh, so I've got a specific link uh, down that I put in the description box of this video and of all the other videos thereafter. Um, and if you use that link and you shop at rightstuff.com, the channel will get like 2% of whatever you buy, which is awesome because it helps out the channel, helps us out, get better lights. Um, in a little bit, I'm going to be doing a, a yearly wrap-up video for 2017. I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, some of the best videos that year, some of the best manga that year, the statistical information for the channel, for those who want to know, and uh, I'll, be I'll be disclosing at that point how much we've earned through the right stuff, like, and you guys are going to trip. It's, it's crazy. I, I, I couldn't believe it myself. Now, this is uh, Matoi. Mat Matoi. I don't know anything about this. I'm so behind as far as anime is concerned, you guys. Like, I'm, I, I don't know any anime at all. But there's, there's that. That's the little card there. We're gonna, we're gonna save them this year. Cause some people actually asked for them last year, and I threw them all away, and I kind of felt bad. Anyway, so this is I am a hero. Omnibus Volume 4, and I'm not gonna lie, this was this was a part of their sale, um, but I got this during the Dark Horse manga sale um, that was actually a couple months before that. So I am a hero. They just didn't have it um, ordered, and so it was on back order, and I just it came with the rest of the right stuff loot. So I just lumped it in there all together. This is oh, it's bent. It's bent badly. Usually, right stuff is really good with packaging. Just so you guys know, they come fairly secure. Um, put all in this this extra packaging material. These like borders around the edge of the box so that stuff can't actually penetrate the box. This is the first time ever I've ordered from right stuff since I was like 16 years old. And this is the first time ever I've seen a book come damaged. That's a little bit sad. So I'll, I'll worry about it later. I will fix it uh, in the upcoming episode of the the manga. Repair shop? Is that what I'm calling it? Something like that. But this is HP Lovecraft The Hound. And I'm a huge Lovecraft fan. Um, if you guys are into into some crazy horror stories, um, check out check out HP Lovecraft. He's got some great creepy fiction. Cthulhu and and uh, Call of Cthulhu, what is what is the other one? Nightmare on Inns Innsmouth. Um, a bunch of great stuff. So I'm gonna do Two more small boxes, and I'm gonna cut the video, and uh, so that you guys. I'm gonna. My plan is to upload one a day for five days. I'm gonna do three videos from Right Stuff, and then two videos from Manga Mania, Barnes and Noble, and that's actually still going on. If you guys haven't gotten some, taken advantage of some of the Manga Mania stuff, you gotta get on that. It's buy two get one free Barnes and Noble. You can go in store, you can go online, but it's it's a hell of a deal. Okay, so I'm gonna take out a little packaging guard there. Throw that over there. This is oh, they're all individually wrapped up. That's kind of cute, I guess. 
I have a lot of cardboard when this is all done. I need some apple juice right now. Bear with me one second. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is pretty fun for me. And for those who can remember, who've actually been hanging out with me for the two years I've been doing this, I did this back in 2015, and I had the bookshelf just like before. That's a great couple videos. I, I really enjoy doing it. Oh, sweet. This is... You guys know this. This is on sale. You guys saw this. is Tokyo ESP. This is a, a manga by Vertical. They're great additions, actually. Um, so they retail at 16 bucks, 16 bucks a piece. Oh, and they're, they're such crisp art. I actually haven't looked through these yet. I've seen them in passing at, at my Barnes & Noble, and I've pulled them out and checked them out. Oh, we got color pages, even? Sweet stuff. Look at that. Nice additions. These are really crispy and clean. I can't wait, and again, I don't I don't know much about them. A lot of right stuff, orders this time, I really don't know, I didn't know what I was getting into. Um, I'm the kind of guy who just bought a lot of stuff and, and is going to figure it out later. So that was volume one, this is volume six, and this is volume seven. Pretty cool. The back covers are really cool too. There's that. Um, that was six, seven, this is eight. Looks like it's a primarily female cast. I don't know, like not that it's a bad thing by any means. You know what could use more female characters? Freaking Final Fantasy 15 to use more female characters. So, so I got all of Tokyo ESP. They're obviously in other boxes, and then I get, uh, I, I got a lot of Psycho Pass. Um, the first three, the first one's in another box somewhere. We'll, we'll have to dig for that one. This is Psycho Pass Volume Two, Psycho Pass Volume Three, and this is actually it's a rare occurrence, you guys. But this is one of the animes that I've actually have seen, and Psycho Pass is a, is a freaking good anime. Um, I guess Dark Horse got the rights to the manga, so that's pretty dope. So that's, that's there. And this is, uh, Sacred Beasts Volume 4. And again, kind of like Tokyo ESP, it was on sale, so I grabbed it. I don't know anything about it. If you guys know about it, though, let me know. Uh, send me a comment or whatever. And this is also by Vertical, so... Got some Vertical stuff, got some Dark Horse stuff. And I, I'm nervous about putting them up here because I want them to be in order, and... Um, they're not going to be in order if they're all in different boxes, so that's kind of be, it's kind of a kink in my plan, but whatever, so we'll go like that, bear with me. Um, on one of the, the, one of the videos from 2015, I, I got the, the full run at the time of Gangsta, and, uh, I, asked, I transposed two of the volumes, so it was like one, two, three, four, six, five, or something like that. And the majority of the comments on that video were like, I can't believe you put them in the wrong way! So, like, I'm telling you now, these might be the wrong way. And it sucks, it sucks worse for me when I was editing it and saw and noticed for the first time, and I was like, oh no, because there was nothing I could do at that point. That's how it is. Okay, so. This, this was some heavy, I didn't tell you the first uh, weight of the first one, but this box is 10 pounds. I got another box bigger than this one, and then I got a huge box. If you guys haven't seen the uh, the intro video that I did, I did like a little teaser trailer. That's pretty funny. That's that's up. That's also in the description. Um, but you don't really need it because you're watching this right now. And that was kind of the point. Okay, so... Awesome! I've wanted these forever. Gantz is one of my favorite series. It's not like psychologically good or or like intellectually captivating, but it is butt kicking. And sometimes you just need to kick some ass. This is by the same dude that did Gantz. This is Inu Yashiki. And this I've I've heard actually I haven't heard a lot of good things at all about it, but I'm stoked. And and the art is really good. Guy uses CGI to do the backgrounds of his stuff, and it, all of his work is really technical. Um, 
machines and guns and robots and a lot of stuff like that. Let's get these in order because these are all here. That's volume three. And I really wanted to wait until the bulk of these were out to read them because I got into Gantz around volume... They had, they had released maybe 20, 25 or so, and so it was closer to the end. Um, so I was able to read them and I wasn't going crazy trying to figure out what was going to happen next. That is a happening right now with Attack on Titan and Platinum End, and it's driving me nuts. That's volume 5. Right there, volume 6. The covers are kind of weird. Volume 7. Right here. This is volume 8. That looks like the other half of that image. Oh, no, maybe not. He's just also flying. And volume 9, so... Pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna have to redo my bookshelf after this, also. Um, and, and something else that I've said before, and I'm a little bit afraid to admit again, but I'm running out of room. And... Uh, it's a, that's a scary thing. This is Vinland Saga, vol volume 9, and this is a an amazing series. Admittedly, I'm not as... I'm not at volume 9. I'm... I'm... I'm like, okay, well, that's not important. I'm not, I'm not anywhere near volume 9. I haven't read as much as I should, but Vinland Saga is a great damn manga. Um, hardbound, so it, these are good quality editions. They're not gonna, the pages aren't gonna fall out like other big omnibus are, and the spine's not gonna crack because it's all one solid piece. So, awesome stuff, and, and the art's good, the story's good, from what I've read at least. Uh, so I'm going to set that there. Let's see what else. Um, for those of you who checked out my eBay haul, um, that's a video I did just a little bit ago. Uh, but I I got... What is this? Sailor Moon! That's pretty cool. Any of you who saw the eBay haul saw that I got um, a, a the bulk of the Yu Yu Hakusho series. I'm very happy to finally admit to that. Um, because I've been interested in Yu Yu Hakusho for a long time. And, Right Stuff is one of the few places that still has volumes of Yu Yu Hakusho for sale, so I got what I needed. This is volume 14. Oh, look at his pants! You can tell that's some early, early, uh... Oh, that's, that's, I love the art. It's so cool. I'm psyched. I'm so excited to get you a show finally. And it was a race, actually. I had a race between uh, Ditto and myself. We were we were checking to see who could get it first. And uh, he actually texted me when he saw the last video, and he's like, "Hey, you won. You got it." I was I was happy. So this is 18. That was 17. 18. Final volume. 19. Yu Yu Hakusho complete. This episode marks it. And it feels good. You guys, this has been the first uh, first episode of the Holiday Right Stuff Sale unboxing. Thank you guys for joining in. Um, like I said before, I've got, let's, let's take a sneak peek. This is what I'm going to be doing next episode. It's not going to be as long, but the third episode, I've got the big box. That one is, that one is 30 pounds, you guys. And uh, I'll be checking that out with you. Again, make sure that you stay tuned. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you drop them below. And as always, I will catch you guys later. Peace.